will we have a commencement this semester in person or will we go virtual again? The answer is next. Plus, students learn how a garden can bring about social change. And the science of pitching a tent? I'm Charlize Lundy. Your news starts now. UTC students have been hit with another disappointment due to COVID-19. University officials have announced that the fall commencement ceremony will be held virtually this year, just like the spring ceremony. The ceremony will take place on December 12th. Officials have not released all of the details just yet, but say that they will be provided in the coming weeks. Tune back in with us as we keep you updated on this topic. Checking in on the campus COVID dashboard report. We have some good news to report. As of this morning, we only have 40 open cases here at UTC. The number of closed cases now stands at 365. Keep wearing those mask mocks and stay at least six feet away from each other. A protest has ended outside a Louisville, Kentucky church where demonstrators had rallied against a grand jury decision in the Breonna Taylor case. Demonstrators left the First Unitarian Church Thursday night after a negotiated end to a tense confrontation. Earlier this week, a grand jury returned only wanton endangerment charges against a former police officer in the shooting death of Taylor. Members of a local Black Lives Matter movement put down their protest signs to pick up a gardening equipment. Our Marlon Carter has more about healing gardens. On the morning of September 5th, a group of young people and college students got together to build up poor communities. The organizer of Healing Gardens, Carly McCuller, was looking for a way to help poor communities that she grew up in, so she joined Healing Gardens thanks to the Black Lives Matter protest. The first step to building up, back up a community that's been broken in, is nutrition. Nutrition affects you emotionally, and therefore eventually it affects you spiritually. The organizer of Greater Hope and a member of Healing Gardens, Tori Rowley, has been with Greater Hope for five years and just recently joined Healing Gardens. It is very encouraging to see uh, multiple entities working together, um, especially hearing the story of Healing Gardens uh, kind of being birthed uh, or coming forward from the protests that were happening in Chattanooga. So it's encouraging to see the energy channeled in a positive direction. After the volunteer work, the Healing Gardens members had a potluck with a bunch of food, family, and friends to celebrate their hard day's work. Commemorations began Friday honoring the late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg at the U.S. Capitol. She's the first woman in American history to lie in state at the domed building. This caps days of commemoration of her extraordinary life. Mourners paid tribute to Ginsburg, who died last week at age 87. Her casket was on public view at the court's iconic steps. National Voters Registration Day happened this week, and members of a local organization were on campus to make sure students are ready to vote. Members of the League of Women Voters staffed two locations on campus. They found that most students are already registered. League members answered a lot of questions about how to vote early. Uh, they're asking where their location is, when is voting day, and when is early voting as well. Early voting in Chattanooga and Hamilton County starts October 14th. We will have great weather this weekend with highs in the low 80s and no mention of rain. So why not go camping? First, you need to know how to put up a tent. Members of a UTC Health and Human Performance class found out the best way to pitch a tent is teamwork. Pretty well, learning the trucker's hitch. How about for yourself, how's it going? It's going pretty well. Learning some teamwork today, learning how to pack tents, so yeah. These students also learned the technique of cooking with a camp stove. That's it for this edition of Mox News. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to keep up with us on our YouTube channel. 
We are also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a good weekend.